Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through the word each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 12, NASDAQ up 132, SP's up 19. Gold, gold contract down $18.40, trading at 18.33 an ounce. We have silver down 32 cents, 21 dollars five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. We got to look at this one, man. Down 455, 84 dollars 68 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You have the 10 year note down 14 ticks, up 14 ticks rather. Trading 10703. The 30 year up 25 ticks at 11114. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now trading down 205 ticks at 106794. The euro is at 105, the yen's at 149, the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone, our phone number is 877-927-6643. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's take a look at the futures first. See if this thing wants to make a little run coming into the close here. So we pull the futures up. Okay, so we... They, they, the overnight session, folks, was pretty dramatic last night. We went down to 42.35, and we're at 42.84. I mean, this was quite a run before the, even the open. Then what we did, let me see what we did here. I think it's, we did just about a 50% retracement. Now we did, we did a 61% retracement, and then took off again. So let's pull this in. Okay, so where we stand right now, You're coming into, oh, this gets interesting too, you're coming into the downdraft of yesterday. Now, the downdraft of yesterday is right where you are right now. So, the last time that we were up higher with the highs of the day here, which is the 42.93, we didn't have any volume. I expect what you're going to see here, though, let me see this for a second. So, we're, you're at nine minutes. So, it's just about the same type of volume, each one of these bars. You need a spike on volume. Let's go look at the NQs, because the NQs are stronger than the S&Ps, the E-minis. So we take a look at the NQs. The NQs, the low of the NQs was 14589 and we're at 883 How's that? I mean, that's quite a move, folks, okay? And, yeah, this is good. We, we're going to go higher into the close, because the NQs... Intraday, that's a high volume high. You pull back to strength, you still get a high volume high that's laying out there at 14899 That wants to go for it, man. Notes and bonds. So we take a look at the note and bond market. Each one of them today rejected lower price. They had lighter volume and did reject lower price. So there are 2.2 million contracts. The 10-year actually moved a full point from 106.03 we're at 107.04 right now. You know, we'll see whether they can get any follow through. That's the bare bottom line is that, you know, we've had this a few times. It's come down, it's rejected it, and then it's just given it up in spades. We go to the 30 year. Take a look at the 30 year. Same setup. 30 year got down to 109.20. And that's up almost a full two points off the close, off, no, off its lows, rather. That did 662,000 contracts. Let's go look at the TLT and see what that's doing. So the TLT is a 20-year-plus ETF. The TLT out here, not much. No, this didn't do much. This just it went up 96 cents, but that's light volume. Then we get into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. And what you're going to see is that, you know, the dollar is only back slightly, but it was enough to get the S&P going. You can see it back 257. You're at 106.763. 
And then we go to the yen. So what happened with the yen last night, now check this out, because it'll be folks that trade the foreign currency market, particularly the yen, which a lot of people trade, because that, the, you know, you, you got to carry trade this in the yen. You can see what happened last night. You know, the bottom line is that the yen went from 149.32 to 148.74. That is a monster move down. And the speculation was that the Bank of Japan got in the middle of it. You know, they're not saying a word. That's the real bottom line. Well, and we'll, we'll see how this shakes out tonight, because this has been a one-way move with the yen. And, in fact, if we go all the way back, look at this move. I mean, you're talking about from, uh, what, 130 six months ago to 149. Now, that's a weakness, okay? When the yen goes down, the yen gets stronger against the U.S. dollar, and if that's what we have, that's when gold really starts moving. You know, when the yen is weaker, you don't, you, don't get the, you don't get the strength behind the dollar. That's what it comes down to. And then we take a look at the gold contract. What you're going to see is messing around with this 1831. It hit 1831 last night, intraday, I mean overnight. Couldn't hold price out here today. Coming down again. Not holding price. Yeah, it has lighter volume. It's still not holding price, though. So the bottom line, you need a rejection of lower price. And the gold contract. And then let's get over to the highly volatile silver contract. So silver right now, trading at a price point of 2107. Same deal. Now oil. Oh, man, let's get a, I got to get a look at oil before this is segments up. This is like intense. They just threw everything out. Yeah, that's it with oil. Holy cow. That's quite a move, man. I'm not quite sure what made that happen. But that just wrecks the whole uptrend in oil. Oh, uh, maybe not. It's close. Oh, look at where it went to. Oh, my God. It just went to the trend line. It went to the trend line from where oil started at 69. So we'll see how it shakes out tomorrow. If it breaks this, then, then you're going to see oil all the way back down to the 69 bucks, man which is pretty wild. I guess it's not that wild when you think we already hit 95. You know, it can only go so far. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.